Telma had a bank account flagged in the United States. Hatik also had a bank account flagged in the United States. Hachimogo, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. President Tunembu and former President Atik Obubaka, according to Michael Achimegu, senior media assistant to the Minister of Aviation, have had their bank account blacklisted in the United States. He asserted that the financial record do not significantly differ from one another. He said that it is illogical for someone who professes to be anti-corruption to support the former vice president, who he claimed also had a record of dubious behavior given his prior involvement in corruption in corruption related cases he doubts the justification for anyone backing atiku abubaka in chicago state university's case he said my issue with the entire situation is that the president is being pushed by a man who lacks the moral high ground even more shocking to me are the individuals who are now coming forward to aid atiku abubaka in his efforts to undermine president bola ahmed Tonumbo. There is no justification for supporting a person like Atiko Bubaka while claiming to be anti-corruption. Do not forget that Atiko also has a file with the FBI if you are requesting information from them regarding Tenembo in a letter. If you consider the fact that Tenembo has a bank account that was marked as suspicious in the U.S., Atiko also had a bank account that contained more money. So, on what basis would anyone publicly claim that we are collaborating with Atiku? Atiku's history of corruption is suddenly unimportant. My dear, it's suddenly unimportant because why? He never did live to him. He is not. He is inconsequential. Why? He never sit down for that seat. If he sit down for that seat, <laughs> brother, waiting then will drag her. Just wait. If at the end of the day, the Supreme Court now say, hey, to remember, you know, you were not too qualified, uh, you did this, you did that, or oh, you have to pay for perjury, and you cannot be sitting on the seat, and this, and it's okay, carry your load, come out. It is now remaining, uh, at, uh, what's it called, Atiku and Obi. Um, now that time, we will come see clear. This same Nigerian that was fighting, or fighting, he be like the Nigerian day behind Atiku. My dear, it will shock you. The way we then go is come up for him back. You say go, you know, you will, you will never expire it. Now you go talk. Sincerely. God bless you, sir. I said it times without my mother that Atiku is not in any way qualified to say somebody is corrupt because Atiku himself is as corrupt as corruption itself. He fraudulently acquired almost all the assets of the federal government of Nigeria when he was the vice president. That is why I'm telling you people that don't worry. Tremble drum is beating. Why? Because he's actually sitting on the seat of the president. And that seat, let us be. You cannot sit on that seat and you carry abomination for heart now. No, 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 no. All these positions, none of them have good record. All of them are same. I mean, all these politicians, of course. Anybody will go there, you own them, open it. That's where you be. All these politicians are crook. One will, the other so. May God deliver us from them. Amen, my dear. Amen. All the billionaires in Nigeria have extra banks outside the country, particularly in the United States of America. Rufai Yosele, the unprofessional owner and broadcaster, how much I could give you? I don't understand. Why are you calling Rufai Yosele on top of this matter? Therefore, because it's no longer P2B that gave him his article, okay? Therefore, Tsunimba and Atiku should be disqualified for this reason, FBI indictment. <laughs> okay. People like Rufa Hussein, who are men of integrity, do not need to take bribe before saying the truth. We know those who are, that are hired and compensated with political appointments like Miki and Akim Obu. You are even campaigning for P2B with your statement because the most competent candidate with integrity among the three presidential candidates is none other than P2B, the people's choice. Yes, because this man, see, anything where he talk for, for, see, nobody can, nobody is saying you can vouch for him. But anything where this man talk, if you go check him, he's not truth. And I keep saying that I am highly disappointed with the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate. Because why? This is a man that he has been nursing the idea of becoming the president for such a long time. 
He should know the in and out. He should know the nitty gritties of that particular position. You understand? He should all know, so he should get himself ready. That he came out already and this unprepared is baffling. You know, say this position, you are a dear. And you know, keep your hand clean so that if you come inside, you know nobody will stress you. <laughs> Sorry, Obi is the most competent candidate because he wore one pair of shoes for 17 years. You didn't make me laugh. That's not what he said. Obi can never near Surok. Well, maybe as a special assistant to the president, Tunumbu. Wow. And the thing is, you will even talk this thing. We will vouch for politicians. We will vouch for. I said it all that this celebrity we so from the carry for head. At the end of it, they no be so. This situation we all day inside now. Not only me, not only you see, not only me and you understand the situation. No? These people they cannot relate to you people. Coming out to sit down and say you support this particular politician. Say you no go do this one. Say you no go do that one. Now because they say see this matter, we're supposed to come out our mouth. Focus on the one we concern us, which is the price of uh, gas. The price of fuel, the price, cost of transportation, all those things we don't cost. We're supposed to come, they drive the government, say, make them do it in, make them regulate her, make them regulate her, make them make them say, useful to the people of Nigeria. Step down prices. Ah. This guy is even making things more difficult, more difficult for Tulumbo, who allowed them to address the press. Kiyama has a lot of problems to solve. Oh. Okay. No one says Atiku is a saint, but supporting Tenobu is more dangerous offense. Atiku is not called the president of the... Thank you. Somebody is coming out to say it. He's not called. Tomorrow, if he's called, he own self will come outside. Any skeleton, maggots infested skeleton, with meat waiting inside and covered, everybody will see her. Everybody will hear her. This Akimegu, who is, who is known, who is a known blackmailer, is not working for Tenobu. After he have blackmailed a lot of people for money, everything about Tunumbu and APT stinks disgusting. Okay, well, thanks, my brother. Do not mind the Biafra. Them, they are supporting, they are not supporting Atiku after they have debated him on set of names before now. Even if Atiku sit down for that seat tomorrow, people will still drag her. Whoever sits on that seat, he'll be dragged. So you do you want to allow certificate forgery to rest because Atiku is not a saint, including you, as you are sounding, you are even corrupt. <laughs> Silence is the best answer for half-educated people like you. On top of waiting, eh? You they call them half-educated when you when you not refer to you. If you can't refer to you now, come. <laughs> All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.